as a huge fan of Jane Austen, I was quite curious to watch Pride, Prejudice and Mistletoe and see where we have some overlap with the narrative. Unfortunately, it's nothing like Pride and Prejudice. It just seems to be a, a way for the novelist who originally wrote the novel on which this is based to just write a book that's slightly a nod up to Jane Austen and not really anything like it. The film itself, taking away the Austen aspect, was quite dull, not that interesting, but Christmassy enough that it kept my attention a little bit. This was released in 2018 and it's directed by Don McBrearty and it's written by Nina Wyman based on the novel by Melissa Dela Cruz. Hands up, I haven't read the novel. If you've read the novel, I'd be really interested to hear how it compares and if you think it's worth reading, because I might. The narrative from IMDb is as follows. Darcy is a career woman who hasn't found love, but her life turns upside down when she returns home to help her mother plan a charity event. That has nothing to do with Pride and Prejudice, aside from the name Darcy. But again, that doesn't really make any sense because it's Mr. Darcy. Um, and I'm not really sure what they were trying to do with that name or... Well, again, it just proves that it's just a fan of Jane Austen trying to make a buck off of... Austin's work. The narrative was pretty dull. So yeah, her life turns upside down when she has to kind of go back home and, and, and help and do this charity work. And a lot of Christmas films do that. People who live in the city or far away have to go back home to help with something and they get a fresh perspective on life and suddenly they realise that maybe the life they're living is not actually what they want. But this just doesn't really portray that very well. I don't think the narrative is very well executed. The pacing's fine. It wasn't. It didn't feel too slow. But there wasn't really anything going for it at all. And I did not care about any of the romance between Darcy and her love interest. I didn't really care about her career or what her outcome was. The reason I kept watching the film is because there is quite a lot of Christmas magic in it. And it does have that feel-good, festive feel to it. And that I liked, and credit where it's due, it did feel Christmassy and warm and fuzzy, and I liked that. But the characters were just really dull and not interesting. There is, um, there was one thing called, was it Pemberley Market or Pemberley Vi Village? Again, using Austen's work to just show, I guess the writer was just saying, hey, look at me, I like Jane Austen, but I'm going to use her things in a, no in a narrative that really isn't anything like it. So I don't understand what the point of that was. A lot of the characters are obviously all named slightly around Jane Austen. Um, there's a character called Austen in this, um, but that's Austen spelled incorrectly for Jane. Honestly, I don't know what the film was trying to do. It just feels... You know, I love Hallmark. I really love Hallmark films. But this just seemed pointless and like it was trying to make money off of, well, the novel, obviously, but this trying to make money off of the back of Jane Austen's success, and I use the word success lightly, much, obviously much more great than that, but it just seemed pointless, because it doesn't follow the Pride and Prejudice narrative enough for it to make any sense why that would have been done. Maybe I'll read the novel and see if it's done better, but for now, Pride, Prejudice and Mistletoe, although nice and Christmassy, in terms of the narrative and the characters, was a bit of a letdown.